hey what's up welcome back to the second part of the road to aws series and one step closer to your aws certifications in today's episode we will be discussing about what are amazon web services why you need to go for the aws certifications and much more so without wasting any more time let's roll the intro So what is AWS or Amazon Web Service? Amazon Web Service is a cloud computing platform. Yes, in in simple terms, it's basically a cloud computing platform uh, that provides customers with a wide array of cloud services. Cloud services in the sense like in the previous episode we discussed about how we can scale our application and if suppose we have a cloud computing architecture, we can leverage the resources that the cloud computing platform provides or the third party vendor provides so amazon web service is basically one of those vendors that can help you grow your infrastructure without incurring the additional cost that you may find in the on premises infrastructure itself so basically when we read the definition we exactly know that aws is a subsidiary of amazon yes it's by amazon and that provides an on demand cloud computing platform and the apis basically to help the individual and the companies to go and use them as pay you go basis so pay you go basis means you need to only pay for the resources that you use and the time that you use and uh, nothing more than that so simply once you are done using them then you can discard the system that you have or the infrastructure that you have and till the point that you are going to use it that's the amount of time and that's the amount of money that you are going to pay them so it's as simple as this so amazon web service is the world's most comprehensive and broadly adopted cloud platform because so you might be hearing about aws since a long time and the reason because uh, they are so famous is because of flexibility and the services that they provide and the easy to use interface as well so this is why aws has been dominant in the cloud platform uh, region and that's why we are going to do a certification on this and learn how the craft actually works so aws also has one more advantage and this one one of the few advantages that they have like lower cost and become more agile and innovate faster so so when we talked about how cloud computing can improve our app application so by lowering the cost of the actual infrastructure that the, that we can have and becoming more agile and more productive and innovating much more faster because you can spin off any of the resources as you want and you can use them and you can uh, do your computation or the application you can run on them and just innovate faster or it means like innovate faster in the sense you can just deploy faster you can execute faster and deliver faster okay what's the second thing why should you use cloud platform like uh, aws or amazon web service the first point is because amazon web service is a leading cloud platform so when you talk about leading cloud platforms it means that they are the ones who will be very much keen in adopting the latest technologies and the latest features and they will be innovating on their side to provide as many facilities that they can to you using aws gives you the freedom to basically develop new technology applications and as well leveraging their resources to improve your computational power yeah so the first important point that you need to remember other than the ones that are mentioned here or along with that i'll talk uh, Uh, on the basis of all the points that are mentioned here first one is the ease to use aws is designed to allow application providers like isvs and vendors to quickly and securely host your applications so whether an existing application or a new saas based application so you can use the aws management console or well documented web service apis to access aws's application hosting platforms so this is one of the major advantages that you have with aws the ease of use the flexibility part comes when aws enables you to select a particular operating system or a programming language or a web application platform or a database or any other service that you need with aws you receive a virtual environment that lets you load the software and services your application requires this eases the migration process for existing applications while preserving options for building new solutions so when you're trying to migrate to a new architecture or a new environment you just don't need to worry about the underlying cost that you might incur in your side to basically set up all those things you can use their environment use the latest technologies that they have all the new software for a new technologies that you can find in the market they already have a software for that and you can install them on their environment and you can use it and the third thing is the cost effectiveness obviously you pay only for the compute power storage and other resources you use with no long term contract or upfront commitments so what basically it means is like you only pay for the resources that you use and uh, the amount of time that you use is the basically uh, the money that you're going to pay so let's suppose you're go- going to use a vm for 1 hour then you'll be paying for that much amount of money the 
fourth thing is the reliability the reliability is a very important factor because you need a high availability and you need fault tolerance to be there for any of the application that you have because customer always sees the high availability and the load that your application can take so reliability is a very important factor for your products as well with aws you take advantage of a scalable reliable and secure global computing infrastructure suppose your customers are residing in different regions like uk or us or china or singapore so then you can leverage their aws regions capability uh, to host the applications near to that location give your users the high availability and low latency low latency means if you are trying to access a site it should not take much amount of time to basically you should have a faster access to it all these things you don't need to worry about now we will be going into in depth on all these things and we will be discussing on how it works and how we can actually leverage this the next thing is basically like being scalable and pro providing high performance so using aws tools like auto scaling and elastic load balancing your applications can scale up or down based on demand so basically let's suppose you have uh, 100 users trying to connect in the day and like 1000 users connecting in the night time then you can scale them accordingly let's suppose you need only three vms in the morning time and you need to spin off six vms on the timely basis you can spin off automatically based on the load that you have okay these are the few basic uh, amazon web services that you have for the database part that you have we have got uh, amazon dynamo db this is basically a no sql database the gateways api gateways they have for security they have iam and kms kms is basically your key management store and iam is basically your identity management for every bit of information that you need for every bit of feature that you need for your application they have got everything in place for the elastic load balancing they have the elastic load balancer the route 53 for dns resol resolution and the vpcs aws lambda for your serverless computing now you might be really overwhelmed by all the services that i'm showing you here but trust me when you are through this uh, tutorial series you will be having a strong hold on all these services and what they mean and what they do and how exactly we can use it and you can suggest your organization your friends to how to leverage these services so why should we go for an aws certificate first important thing is actually it helps you validate your technical skills so so let's suppose i have been working in aws for like three four years now anyone who comes up to me and he he will have a judgmental attitude towards me if i don't have a certificate so i'm not saying that it is bad to not have a certificate i'm just saying that you need to have a validation for your technical skills so, because anywhere you go on an interview so they might probably choose a particular person who has a certification already with him so the shortlisting itself takes place at the first place before you've been giving the interview so having a certificate gives you enough leverage to at least go and attend the interviews itself so in this real time uh, scenario when you're working in a particular project and uh, there is a particular solution that the company wants you to put in your skills are the ones that are going to help you and your expertise on cloud is what you're going to help you so learning something new and staying or uh, keeping yourself updated is one of the key goals that everyone should have in the career so once you have your certificate you will be certified in the global community of aws and uh, basically you will have free uh, practice exams as well be events for aws that they organize and you might get invited as well and uh, exam discounts yes once you give your first uh, certification you will give, get a 50 percent discount on the second examination so you'll get a coupon code in which uh, you will get a 50% discount on the next exam that you give so this is one of the best uh, feature that i feel yes the digital batches the digital batches is one of the things that everyone wants basically like once you appear for the exam and you qualify aws basically provides your digital batch that you can attach it to your linkedin profile to just show off that yeah you have got the certificate and uh, that's pretty cool isn't it so the next thing is aws certification overview so Yes, there is a lot of certifications for AWS that you uh, that anyone can do at this point of time. So starting from uh, we have the cloud practitioner exam. That's one of the foundational uh, examinations that they have. And uh, moving forward, there are th three roles that you can see here. One is a, a certified solution architect that goes forward and you become a professional in that. And one is the DevOps engineering side where they have two levels as well. Like one is an associate and one is a professional. And the third thing is SysOpt admin and the DevOps engineering professional. I would advise you to go either in this direction like you complete your cloud practitioner then come for the solutions architect and then go for the uh, solution architect professional or if you want to follow any single trait of your choice like if you want to be a solutions architect you can follow this you want to be a devops engineer you can either go for this or this uh, but 
in general mostly to have all the certificates is one of the dreams that everyone has and that's what we will be aiming for but we'll start from aws certified solutions architect associate and this tutorial is basically for this and there are other specialty certificates as well like one of the big data uh, certificates that you have or the certified security specialty and one more is there for the advanced networking so basically you also can go towards that if you have that requirement so but i would advise to go towards first completing your cloud practitioner to get an overview of what exactly the services that aws has so that it becomes a little bit easier for you when you go for the solutions architect but it's not necessary to exactly complete the cloud practitioner and then come for the solutions architect because there is no eligibility criteria in this you can start off from the solutions architect and go forward learning actually uh, what the services aws has and then pairing for the exam for the solutions architect so you can start from this anyways so this is what we are aiming for in this tutorial series the digital batch for aws certified solutions architect associate and yes we are going to aim to clear it with flying colors and scoring as many marks as possible like going towards the 99 percent or 97 percent or the 98 percentage that's what we will be aiming for everyone who appears for the exam has to share the scores on the comment section so that we get to know and we as a family can get together and celebrate that and yes you will skyrocket your career because with the certificate that you're going to get from aws everyone is going to come up to you and going to ask you how did you do it how did you clear it and can you share the details with us and you're going to point them to the channel that we have here and they are going to learn as well on on how we can crack this examination and uh, how to score good marks in uh, aws certified uh, solutions architect examination so in the next episode of road to aws we will be covering about what exactly you need to know about aws solutions architect associate and what exactly the exam pattern will be what are the contents in that and what are the scoring that will be so don't miss out on that that's a really important part for you before you give any exam for aws so if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please do so if you like the content please hit the like button and comment on what you liked what you did not like as so that i can improve as well so that's it from my side today please join the next one signing off mm -hmm.